Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today I'm going to be continuing with some more Don't Starve Together. By the looks of things, I'm in a little bit of trouble here. So, um, last time, it's actually been quite a while, and I will have made a video explaining that, if you guys want to go and check out the reasons behind this, but at the moment, I think it's probably a good idea to focus on this sanity problem. Now... I actually completely forgot to check if an icebox takes two gears or not, but I feel like actually eating a gear right now might help me in uh, the long term run of things. So we got the gear from there, our base is quite a distance away actually, now I think about it. And I don't have too much in terms of warmth here. I guess I could cook and eat a mandrake, that gets me some stuff. but. Nothing too helpful at the moment. I'm actually just going to cook this ham whilst I'm here. This also lasts for longer once it's cooked, I think. Don't quote me on that, I don't remember too well. Okay, that was weird. The fire ran out, but there was still light, and I didn't get a warning saying it was dark. I just quickly glance over that, and I don't know if to assume that the gears spawn back there, just because it works differently in there together, as I said. But I'm going to want to be careful of sanity loss here. For some reason, it's quite low. I don't actually remember why, because as I said, it's been a while. But getting back to the base is a good way to start off here. You're going to have to pass through a few things. Um, and on the food side, I think we should be okay. We've got quite a few berry bushes and um, a few creatures nearby that if I need extra food, I can take out. There's a lot of rocks about, which, if I remember rightly, it's uh, going to be a good idea for me to pick them up. That was a close one. Speaking about sanity, I can stack on these things that I pick up. Interesting. I'm trying to pick them up just to get a bit of sanity, but Chester keeps getting caught in the crossfire. Nah, I'll try and get out of there. Um, and health as well, health's down a little bit. But I believe that's got to do with me trying to take on McTusk and Sun. Which at least I know where they are. And really, there's hounds now? I'll have to leave the hounds to deal with the spiders. This is actually going to be tricky. I could also get them to deal with the pigs. That might not be the worst idea. Um, I'll have to choose what it is I want them to deal with by seeing what gets here first. Um, I can leave these on the floor and let's just have a quick look for an ice box. Yes, it is one gear. Right, I'll eat one right now. There we go. Replenished a lot of stuff. But I also need... Hmm, okay. I don't think I can do it before the hounds get here. Go on, Chester. Where do I want to build this? Like here? Okay, let's get out of here. Oh no, I need Chester with me, don't I? Because if I leave him behind, they'll all just go after him. I'm tricky. Alright, pigs, defend yourselves. Oh, where's my cursor? There it is. I want to press F just in case it hits the pigs. Actually, that's even risky right there. I don't even know if I can... Oh no. It's all too risky. Right, you can tell I'm just getting back used to this again. Right, warm me up a bit. Um, right, there we go. Oh, is that all of them dealt with? That seems surprisingly easy for how many there were. Sure. Sure, I'll believe they're all dealt with for now. 
And this thermal stone, I will need to replenish at some point and uh, sort some warmth out in other ways. Probably through a beeflow hat. No, I know I need beeflow wall for that. No, that wasn't a beeflow hat I was thinking of. Whoops, that's the one that you have to have a beeflow get killed for. Wasn't quite what I was thinking of. Now, are these all diseased? Because it looks like it. Nothing's going to grow in these farms, and we have an icebox now. There we go. And I don't have a bird cage, which I guess at this point in time isn't the worst, because it's not like anything's going to decay anytime soon. Uh, seed wise, and I don't have any dragon fruit yet, so. As I said, it isn't the worst. I'm just looking at some of the stuff that I have in here. Mandrakes could be nice for the winter, just to pass through a few days. Uh, we have more food, really? Still haven't found out what this potato cup's for. Alright, so I'm going to need to chop down some more trees as well. I have a lot on the, the list of stuff to do. I dropped my pickaxe, I mean axe even. What was that? The only one I had. Alright, whilst it's night time and I don't really have anything to do, I'm going to look through the chest for places to put this stuff. How do I make... Where is it? There we go. Get around a little faster, whilst there's nothing else to do. Um, yeah, sure. Well, uh, just chuck this stuff in here for now. Those are going to go bad, so that's going to be rot either way. I don't think you can put cooked meat on there. No, you can't. And for the time being, I probably benefit from getting a bit of ice. Now, this doesn't have shipwrecked, as far as I remember. Together, I mean. So that doesn't mean I can get a nice machine or anything. But I can get a bunch of this new stuff, so... Sorry if it's uh, all kind of uh, what you guys are used to on together. Some of this stuff's new to me because I haven't been playing it much recently. But Mushroom Planter sounds very, very good. So I don't know how it works, but I have almost all the ingredients apart from living logs. So I can go out and set out to find some living logs. Oh, I need some beeflow wool for a winter hat. That's the one. Let me just check to see if I don't have any already. I have three. That's typical, isn't it? Chuck these in my rock chest. Which I should probably sort some of these chests out to contain certain kinds of items. They're fine, I'll just leave them there for now. I feel like I already had poop in a certain chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try and sort this out a bit better. Drops from uh, creatures will go in there. Technically, that's a drop from a creature. Sure, why not? Just chuck it in there for the sake of it. Um, it's a drop from a creature, but I'm trying to put rocky kind of items in there, etc. stuff in here. I guess organics. Um, and then I can try and sort this out here. To resemble something that isn't just a mess. Then I'll also need to look into making another thermal stone. It's in survival, right? Yeah. Okay, that only takes a few more rocks. That's not too hard. Now, I need to remember where bee flows are. Um, well, there's only f uh, two places they can be. Um, looks like they're going to be north, though. Unless they're down there and I just ran all the way back and made a mess of it. But I'm going to assume that they're north. 
And if I could find the road, it would help. It's a little tricky. But the map helps as well. Oh, penguins. I'll come back and deal with those later. I'm trying to think. Is this necessary to take? I feel like taking any monster meat that I find is a good idea. Also, any of this stuff. Try and start off a few more fights and take all the silk and uh, stuff that gets farmed around here. Oh, okay. Well. I mean, I wouldn't mind taking out the nest right now. Could uh, one of you do me a favor and take on that guy? Thank you. You see, I would press F around here, but I don't want to risk it actually going for pigs. No, I don't think it does. Alright, I'm good. Could also do with some armor, I feel. I never planned to do this originally, but I feel like it's a good idea seeing as all the spiders have been taken out of the house. I can just place this, uh... What the hell is that sound? Is it a similar kind of sound to what was being heard last time? Um, I'm going to need a lot more wood. Yeah, that's the thing I should have probably decided upon doing originally. Right, I'll leave the spider nest on me at the moment. I should probably switch back to this. Stick away from that guy. How close are these guys to my base? Um, a relative distance. Uh, they're not close enough to be a hassle, but it's close enough for me to be able to farm ice above them. Sure, I'll just use the poop in there. And here we go. I don't feel like I'm going to be replanting this section of trees anytime soon. So I don't mind digging up the stumps. I'll just sort it back out once it comes back around to the right season. I always switch to the wrong thing because I'm not used to having a walking cane too often. Even though a walking cane is probably one of the most useful items in Don't Stuff. As long as you have stuff to do, getting around is uh, really useful. I'm probably going to freeze. Yep, there it is. Um, I'll set fire to this bunch of trees. So I don't feel like I'm going to be needing those soon. I hope it doesn't spread too much. Is that blue right? Okay. I knew it wasn't green because it wasn't up at this time. Save your time sometimes if you just click it. I kind of need a little bit of time saving to actually go and check how far this is spreading. Uh, Walking King keeps moving about. I kind of need a place for it to stay. Yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> Why did I even do that? It's pretty obvious I couldn't switch it there. Uh, maybe I should just switch materials and these over. I know this is just going to be a pain now, but I can uh, just run back over to the base whilst I'm doing this. The base? As long as I can actually not slur my words. There we go. Um, I'll just uh, move some of this stuff over. I don't really know why that was there. Try and put food and stuff in my backpack. What? I'm not even going insane. What are you doing? 
you just get out of here? I'm slightly glowing. Oh, yeah, that's my thermal stone. That explains what happened earlier, right? I'm just done. Alright, warm that up a bit. Need beefalo wool. Yep. Got the wood I was looking for. Check. Might need a bit more, though. So that might be a good idea to go out and grab a bit more. Yeah, chuck that in there. I can go and plant the spider nest on my way up. I'll eat this. I'll eat these as well. Because I know he doesn't mind about spoiling food, but it's a good idea just to get some of it out of the way. Um, no, what are you doing? Whoops. <laughs> I'm used to a different mode of moving things over. Um, I think cooked birch nuts can be used in recipes. I know ice is a much better way of doing this, but... I don't currently have any at the moment, so... Gotta use what I got. If eating that is gonna cost me greatly. Even though I didn't intend to do it. It feels so much more fluent to actually have something to run around with. Oh yeah, I don't have enough rocks for a new... One of those, do I? Just in case, because you never know in this uh, season. It keeps moving up there, that's maybe where I should expect for it to go then. Try and keep everything in order, at least. And it's about to become morning, so... I should be good. I have a hot enough stone to be able to just run up here. Sure, why not? Even though it feels really dangerous to do so. Um, that's the one I wanted. Wow, I feel like I get a lot more ice from doing that in together. I just go and chuck this all in my chest because I don't need it at the moment, but it's heavily necessary in the good old summer. Do these return then in the winter? Like, right now, over a few days will these return? Because if so, that's pretty cool. Because I don't remember if there is water patches left over from penguin pups in the base game. Alright, I'll just go and uh, chuck these back in the old ice box. Just got enough space. That can go wherever. I'll just chuck it on the floor for now. Um, actually, maybe it's a good idea to take some spare food with me, just because I don't know how long I'm going to be. And it's too bad I had to use those already. Right, I'll just take those with me. And I'll take... Wait, no, I kind of need to leave birch nuts here. Yeah, fine, I'll just take those with me. Oh, I need to grab some... Extra stuff on the way. Up, like rocks and stuff whilst I'm out. I mean, not like right now. And getting B flow wall is kind of high on the priority list. Um, okay. That guy could have needed a hand right there. Um, although his meat would have been nice to actually get to eat. Now, let me just plant that down. Uh, it's relatively close. It's within the boundaries of the pig thing. Don't quote me on if these regrow or not. Because I feel like if they do, I'm really missing out here. Alright then. To the north we go. And I'm going to freeze really soon. I forgot you can run over those in the winter. It's uh, a cool little addition. It's the little things that make this game, isn't it? Right. I have a enough for a campfire, obviously. I was hoping to actually find beefalo before I settled down for the 
night. Right, here we go. They're not in red ass, are they? Nope, they've already given birth. Okay. Probably best to try and find a better set of them. Like, a few more in a uh, bundle. There's another group of uh, three and a babby here. Um, gonna keep heading north just to check. There's um, one and a babby. Okay, that's not good. Here we go, we'll set up base camp relatively close. Just warm up quickly because that started to drain faster than I had expected. Alright, okay, I'm back after it. A little quick reset, and um, turns out, no, actually, I feel like it was closer to night time, or maybe it's just that I was uh, freezing, I don't actually remember. Uh, I don't think there's a way to get these guys over. It would be nice for me to get a beefalo horn, but I don't feel like that's happening anytime soon, just because I'm... Probably not going to be able to take these guys out. There's uh, five up here. How many was there where I made my fire? If there's three or less, I'll move it up. But if there's four, there's no point in remaking the fire. Okay, there's five here, so that's fine. And I will find out if it's a good idea to still shave them in and stuff together. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Uh, 154. Still a bunch of uh, manure to collect. And I'll just head back down to the base after collecting this stuff because I'll actually have a bit of warmth. Um, almost night time. I feel like I'm going to have to add some stuff to the fire after that. Yeah, I'll add just a, a little bit of manure to the fire. I mean, if that counts as a little bit. Right, I'm gonna quickly just pick this up just because I don't want to uh, accidentally mess up the mojo. Right, there we go. And I can actually head out of here now, I have uh, 15, I have a little bit of heat left on my thermal stone. Right, I'll head just directly south and hopefully I'll make it back without dying. I have my little light, I should probably get my torch at the ready just in case. Try and follow the road if at all possible. Maybe it's just a good idea to equip my torch from the beginning, because <laughs> I feel like that keeps me slightly warm anyway. And if it does go out, I'll just equip my second torch. I'm not too far off. Although this does make me run faster. It's a hard decision. I'll just wait to see if this dies out. Oh, damn, I forgot about these guys. The little stragglers. Hopefully I move in too fast for them to keep up with me. Almost back. Here we go. And just like I said, a little bit of extra fuel just in case. I can chuck some of this on as well. It'll last me the rest of the night. And then let's have a look for... Oh, of course I can make more farms. I'll probably get to doing some of that as well at some point. But for the moment, we'll do this winter's hat. There we go. Got ourselves a nice little winter's hat. I'll build one of these. Um, it does change with what direction I'm looking at, if I remember. I'm going to harvest these. And I'll uh, just chuck two more on. There we go. So then, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Thanks in advance, and I'll speak to you all next time. Hit the lights!